This video serves as a capstone or a bookend to our series of videos looking at custom drawers in the Odin Inspector. With that in mind, we wanted to talk about a potentially little known concept, that of the drawer chain. In our many videos on drawers, it's possible that we've given the impression that there's just one drawer acting on a field at any one time. When in fact, there are usually several drawers for each property and the number being used can change. The order that drawers are used can also be important when creating your own custom drawers. To see the drawer chain, you can include the attribute show drawer chain on any field that is being drawn by Odin. For example, in this script, I have an integer and color properties, each with a Boolean to toggle their status. I've also included a function with a button. If we add the show drawer chain attribute to the integer, color, and function, we can see the results in the inspector. In each of these three instances that we've added the attribute now has a list of drawers. The drawers are shown in the order that they're called from top to bottom. For both the integer and color fields, not all the drawers are being used. Drawers that are grayed out are not being called despite being in the drawer chain. We can also see that for the color field, there's a drawer in green. This indicates that it is a custom drawer, or more specifically, drawers that are not declared in a core Odin assembly. In all cases, the reason the drawer chain ends is because a drawer is not calling the function call next drawer. For example, my color attribute drawer is a drawer we made in an earlier video to replace the built-in color drawer which just happens to be one step down in the drawer chain. In the my color attribute drawer code, we can add the function this dot call next drawer and feed in the label parameter. This will cause the next drawer in the chain to be called. If we then let Unity compile, we can see that the chain drawer has one more active drawer and there's an additional color field drawn in the inspector. Next, let's take a look at what else might affect the drawer chain. The show int boolean is used with a show if attribute. When we toggle it off, we can see that the number of drawers being used is less, and the show if drawer is now ending the drawer chain. If you have the source code, you can look at the show if drawer to see exactly what's happening. There's a Boolean called result that determines whether the field should be drawn. If result is true, then the function call next drawer is called. However, if result is false, then the drawer chain ends because call next drawer is not called. When the enabled color boolean is toggled, the inspector changes, but the drawer chain does not. It should then be no surprise that if you look at the drawer code, every path in the function draw property layout has call next drawer function. This allows this drawer and every other drawer to add their own contribution to the final drawn result. If you look closely in the inspector as part of the drawer chain, you can see some grayed out text on the right of each drawer. These values are the priority for a particular drawer and control the order that a particular drawer is put in the drawer chain. This priority can be set by using the draw priority attribute on a given drawer. This attribute can take in an enum to assign the property. The enum has five values that roughly place the drawer into the drawer chain. Documentation on the enum values can be found on the Odin Inspector website, and we'll make sure to include a link in the description below. Additionally, if you need or want more fine control, a series of three doubles can be passed into the attribute to place the drawer exactly where you want it in the drawer chain. These three values correspond to the three priority values shown in the inspector and create three levels of priority, with each level overriding the former. For example, the priority 100 will be higher than the priority 022, which is higher in priority than 021, which in itself is still higher priority than 011, and so on and so forth. It's also worth noting that attribute drawers are always given a higher default priority than value drawers. So an attribute will by default always override any base value drawers for the member it's on. If drawers have the exact same priority, the final resolution happens by comparing their full names with namespaces alphabetically. This ensures consistent results regardless of the order in which Odin finds the drawers. One of the key ideas to take away from this video is that drawers are best if they do the absolute minimum needed to do their particular job. They then pass the rest of the work to other drawers and the Odin Inspector systems. This composability mindset is a significant part of what makes Odin so modular and flexible. Without this mindset and approach, Odin simply wouldn't work. To be more concrete, we often see people write custom drawers for classes or structs that draw each and every field manually, which can work, but in doing so are essentially removing much of Odin's functionality 
and losing out on modularity, extendability, and much of the power of Odin itself. So we hope that was interesting, and better yet, useful for your project. And until next time, happy game designing.